miss not being able to come into your school to see you. We're just so glad that we're able to do these videos. My name is Emily and this is the rest of the team. Hi, I'm Megan. Hello, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Finn. Hi, my name's Beth. Today we're going to hear a story from the Bible about a man called Joseph. Now Joseph had a very beautiful and colourful coat, a bit like this one here. Now there are so many different colours on this coat, aren't there? My favourite colour is purple. I wonder what your favourite colour is. Can you tell me? Wow, there are just so many different colours, aren't there? I'm going to pass over to Jack and Megan now for a song, but first they're going to lead us in the actions. Hello everybody, Jack here again. We are going to sing a song together and I have my piano here with me. We're going to sing a song called Our God is a Great Big God and we need to learn some actions so that you can join in with the actions. So the actions go like this. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. And then we sing that again. And the verse goes, he's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. How low can you go? Could you go as low as a submarine? He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me. Give yourselves the big, biggest hug ever since before the world began. How wonderful, do a thumbs up, to be a part of God's amazing plan and have a dance because it is so, so happy. Are we ready? I think we are, let's go. Amazing. So our story today is all about a man called Joseph and his very colourful coat. Joseph had 11 brothers and that's quite a lot isn't it? Joseph's dad was called Jacob and Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons. Jacob made Joseph a beautiful colourful coat. This coat had so many different colours on it. There was red and blue and yellow. In fact, if you think of a colour, Joseph's coat had that colour on it. It was so, so colourful. But Joseph's brothers were jealous. They weren't happy because they wanted a nice coat too. They wanted to feel as loved as Joseph was loved. Joseph had dreams about his brothers all bowing down to him. 
This made Job's brothers even more jealous and very angry. They didn't want to bow down to Joseph, so they threw Joseph into a dry well. But instead of leaving him in the well, they decided to sell Joseph as a slave to a faraway land. When they got home, they lied to their father and said that Joseph had been killed by a wild animal. Jacob was very, very sad. Even though Joseph was far away from his family, God was always with him, even when it didn't feel like it. Joseph was sold as a slave to Pharaoh, who was the king of Egypt. But whilst he was there, he was thrown into jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Oh no, poor Joseph. Joseph trusted God to help him. God was with Joseph, even when it didn't feel like it, and indefinitely didn't feel like it in jail. But God made Joseph able to understand dreams. Sometimes the other people in prison would have strange dreams at night. They told Joseph their dreams and Joseph told them what the strange dreams meant. God helped Joseph to understand dreams. One night, the Pharaoh had a strange dream. In his dream, he saw cows and corn. The king suddenly woke up. What a strange dream. What did this dream mean? The Pharaoh asked his friends if they knew what this dream meant, but they didn't know. He asked his wise men, but they didn't know either. Who do you think the Pharaoh could ask? Who could understand these dreams? That's right. God helped Joseph to understand dreams. So the Pharaoh sent for Joseph and Joseph told all about his Pharaoh's strange dream. God helped Joseph to understand what these dreams meant and everything that Joseph said became true. Pharaoh was very happy. He was so happy that he put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. God saved Joseph from jail. God was with Joseph always, even when it didn't feel like it. God also promises us that he is with us, just like he was with Joseph. God is always with us, even if it doesn't feel like it. We're going to sing another song together now called Who's the King of the Jungle? So the actions go a bit like this. Megan, please do demonstrate. Who's the king of the jungle? All pretend to be monkeys. If you want to make a monkey noise, feel free. Who's the king of the sea? Who's the king of the universe, of all of space and the planets and stars? And who's the king of me? Point to yourself. I'll tell you. J-E-S-U-S, -S, yes. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then punch the air. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. Make those planets again. The jungle and the sea. Are we ready? I think we are. Amazing. Let's have a go.
amazing story we have just heard about how God was always with Joseph. In the good times and the bad times, God was always with Joseph. Now to close our assembly, I'm going to say a short prayer for us all. So if you could please close your eyes so you aren't distracted. And if you agree with what I say, then please join in and say Amen with me at the end. Dear God, thank you so much for everyone here. Thank you that we have learned from this story that you were always with Joseph. Help us to remember that you are always with us, even when it doesn't feel like it. I pray that you would bless every child and member of staff at this school. Amen. Thank you so much for having us today. We really are looking forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great week.